But now, time now for the shocking stat of the week. Canada and the U.S. are in the midst of a full-scale opioid crisis. I think we all know that. But I'm still willing to bet that the size of the problem is going to shock you. In 2016, in Canada, there were 2,946 deaths believed to come from the opioids. And that astounding number, are you ready, was matched in the first nine months of 2017. 2,923 died. And the vast majority of them accidental. According to data just made public this week, this week by the Public Health Agency of Canada, they say in 2017, the number of deaths is going to hit 4,000. Now to the states. There are more statistics available, by the way, to the states on this problem, and they are shocking. The estimate is for 52,000 people to die in the U.S. this year from overdoses. For the first time in history, the average life expectancy in the U.S. has fallen for two consecutive years. First time that's ever happened. Two more numbers. This is courtesy of One River's chief investment officer, uh, Eric Peters. The U.S. consumes 99% of the world's hydrocodons, that brand name, things like Vicodin, Norco, Lortab. 81% of the oxycodons are consumed in the U.S. The U.S. consumes an estimated 30 times more opioids than is medically necessary for its population. I mean, I hope that does shock you. It's got me shaking my head, and I knew the stat. An essential question, I don't know, we don't seem to be asking this, how did we get here? I don't know, for me, I keep coming back to the casualness about drugs, the celebration in pop culture, despite numerous high-profile overdoses. I think that's got to play a part. Maybe not, I haven't seen any research on it, but it sure thinks that way. And it's something to be considering when we're about to legalize marijuana, which I support. But still, this is incredible. I mean, I can be wrong, there's a lot of factors coming together but let's make no mistake about it those factors were set in motion years ago we're just living the results of it can you believe that though the u.s consumes an estimated 30 times more opioids than is medically necessary for its population wow